I can't believe I'm back on my YouTube game. So I'm gonna film a little get ready with me chit chat. Um, I'm actually going out. I'm not going out. I'm literally dropping my mom into town and then I'm going to meet my cousins. And I still can't drink because if you don't know already, I am just getting over a breast reduction surgery. So I'm two weeks post-op. I just thought we'd do a little beauty secrets. I have, I have a podcast and I did a beauty secrets episode during the week. And I so much enjoyed it that I was like, I literally need to get back YouTube and just chat beauty all day long because I'm obsessed with it. So let's go. Okay, so I've done my skincare. I'm gonna keep looking in the monitor. So I've done my skincare and we're gonna do that in another video. That's like another for another video. I feel like you can't have a really nice makeup routine if you don't already have a really nice skincare routine because the first step of every makeup routine is your skin. You wear your skin every single day. You need to invest in your skin. So that's my first beauty tip. Okay, even though I said I've already done my skincare, I just want to talk about SPF because I'm, I've really gotten into my SPF recently and I just feel like you need it every single day, even if it's summer, spring, winter, you need your SPF. So I have SPF 30 and I have a 50 plus. This is actually, this is the La Roche-Posay Antilius, don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna finish off my 30. It's like three o'clock and it's gonna get dark pretty soon. So I'm just going to in with this all over my face and yeah so that is always my first step but yeah I suppose like I'm not really getting ready for anything at the moment because I can't drink so you can't drink for three weeks after a breast reduction surgery which is I actually don't mind it too much and to be honest I'm after getting my surgery done in January which is like it's a good month to be getting a surgery done because nobody really does anything in January okay so next I'm gonna go in with the eye glow so oh my god does that work? Oh, the camera's so good. So I've actually been trying this, but I keep wearing eye masks at night. It's like pressing down on my lashes and I feel like it's making them look like they're really flat. So I haven't really been noticing a difference, but my friend has been using hers like religiously morning and night for two, three weeks. And her lashes literally look like like they hit her eyebrow when she when she's talking and everything. So I'm like, okay, I need to get on that buzz. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I am obsessed with the Benefit Brow products. I just think they're like literally the best on the market. Um, I do love the Refi brow products, but I just love how easy and simple this pencil is. So they do, I do love the precisely my brow, but I like the way you can get hair like strokes with this and it also has a thicker end and I just feel like you're getting more product for what you pay for. Yeah, I've been using the Goof Proof like literally since I was 16. I used to work for Benefit and I actually loved that job. I used to go in during secondary school, like I'd just go in every Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes in the evenings after school as well, I'd go in for like a four hour shift. And yeah, I just loved it. And then I'm going, now I'm going in with the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. This is really good if you love that like laminated brow look or you just love setting your brows in place, but you don't want, you don't like the feeling of like a wax on your brow. I love the fact that it has like a thin edge and then like a thick edge. And what I do is I comb through all of my hairs with the thin and thick edge. And then I like flatten the brows down with the flat edge. It's literally like a brow lamination, but you can just do it every single day. Now I've done like base and prep and then I've already put some cream on, but one product that I just love is the Beauty Base by Sculpted by Amy. I just think it gives like that, it's like, it gives max strobe cream, but it also just has like more ingredients in it to like really give you a glow and like also has SPF in it. And to be honest, I kind of just use this on like the perimeters of my face. Like I don't concentrate it in my T-zone or under my eyes because that's where I'd be like most oily. Can you see that glow? Also, if you want to blend this in with your foundation, stunning. I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, of course. And at the moment, I am I just dropped that into my Hoola bronzer. 
love that for me. Okay, so at the moment I'm quite pale, but I have the Dove moisturizing moisturizer on at the moment and it has a bit of a glow in it and it's so nice. With the like flawless filter, I always feel like using it like contour is a really nice way of getting that really natural like sun-kissed kind of glow because at the moment it's a little bit too dark for me because it's winter and I always use shade for medium. This is the Dove moisturizer by the way. It's the Derma Spa Summer Revived. Medium to dark and with a soft shimmer. I'm obsessed with it. I just think it's so nice and it just leaves like a really nice glow to the skin with the little shimmer flakes in it. It's amazing. But I got this foundation. So I went to London with Meta and when I was there, I got the Dior Face and Body Backstage Foundation. I was in kind of a rush getting it. It's in such a dark shade, but I'm gonna see if we can make it work because I haven't actually properly tried this foundation yet and I just really wanna give it a go. I might just do the same as I do with the Charlotte Tilbury and just focus it on like contour areas of my face and then like work it into the center because that might give it more of a natural feel. Oh, that's really nice. That London trip was like so much fun. It actually just reminded me how insane London is. I was only in London when I was 16. And then like, obviously when you're 16, you're not gonna be going to all the really nice places. And like, you don't really have the money to actually explore London. But that trip, reminded me how, like I'd move to London tomorrow. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. But I actually think the best city in the world is Barcelona. If anyone has been to Barcelona, they will know that like, there's nothing wrong with Barcelona. Like there actually isn't one fault. It's, I'm convinced it's the best city in the world. Okay, the nation is really nice. So now that I have a little bit of um, that Dove moisturizer on, it looks like it's actually not too bad of a match. Okay, I'm really liking that. I actually didn't focus it on this area of my face. I wouldn't go too heavy under here. Like I don't wanna put SPF, primer, foundation, concealer, and then all the other stuff on top. Cause sometimes it can look quite cakey. And I've actually got like quite enlarged pores there in the last few months. So I'm just gonna go ahead with my concealer now. So I actually had the NARS concealer and I lost it after using it once. I used it once and I lost it. So that's great. So what I've been using for the last, um, little while is the Sosumi wake up wand. I actually think this concealer is really, really good. I also really like the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I'm just putting it in those points and I usually put just kind of like a little bit here to define my cheekbones. <laughs> I literally forgot how to speak, that's fine. But yeah, so I'm like two weeks after breast reduction surgery and I would say most people know that because I have not stopped talking about it on my social media, but I just feel like when I was starting to like think about getting this done, it was such a scary thought because no, I, like it was so hard to find other girls posting about like breast reductions because there's a few people who would post about, yeah, like their boob jobs, but not many girls my age would really think about getting a breast reduction or if they would think about it, they wouldn't really post about it or I don't know. I just felt like it wasn't a normal thing to do at my age when I first started Okay. When I first started looking into getting it done. I've gotten like a weird um comfort out of chatting to other girls my age who are also thinking about getting it done. So yeah. Oh by the way, the shade that I used in the Dior foundation is 2H03. But yeah, like, so I went over to Lithuania to get that surgery done and a lot of people were like, oh my God, you're so brave for going to Lithuania. Like, why am I brave for going to Lithuania? I just couldn't really understand that. But I think what people meant was like, you're like leaving the country. But like all of my aftercare is in Dublin and all of my pre-care was in Dublin. Like, and I also have my surgeon on WhatsApp like 24 seven. Like I literally texted him earlier and I sent him a photo of like my nipple and I was like, is that normal? And he was like, yeah, just massage it. And I was like, okay, thank you. I'm like, that's, I just feel like I wouldn't have that with a surgeon here. Okay, so for contour, I have a few like cream contour options. 
One that I've always loved is the, I have the Chanel cream bronzer. I can't remember its name. I can't remember the name of it. You know the one I'm on about, it's like Soleil, Soleil, Chanel, Soleil bronzer. Really good. But I'm just kind of trying out different things. I got, I have this one from Glossier. It's the solar paint. I also got this in London. Um, this is in the shade Ray. So I think I'm going to use this today. But another option that I love, and I just got a new one, is the Sosu Contour On The Go um, stick in shade Warm. Will we just do both of them? This one's matte and then this one is has a little bit of a shimmer in it and I've been really loving bronzes with a bit of a shimmer because it's just only January and my head is in summer. Like I'm like it's coming in summer now. But it's not. It's January. Because winter, it's just not the vibe for me. Like I just can't deal with... Oh, that is such a nice shade. Why do I remember this being darker? I think I actually bought the wrong shade. I was meant to get number three. But I'm not mad at this because that is a really nice shade. I usually buff this out with like a dome brush like this. If you want, you can use a little bit of um, setting spray. Like usually the MAC Fix Plus is a really good spray to use if you feel like your like contour has dried down too quickly. But this one actually stays kind of creamy for a long time. Hold on a second. Ma'am! No. That's the noise for if you're trying to FaceTime someone else. Okay. Right, okay, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of glossy on top because it's just so nice. This one's a bit darker, so let's focus this one more in smaller areas. The surgery overall was like so fine. It was it was actually a dream. Like it wasn't scary, it wasn't like painful, like my downtime was so quick. Like I honestly didn't really like I didn't feel that much pain the whole time. I thought it was gonna be way more painful, like every day like afterwards but to be honest it was actually fine like i not that i'd recommend a surgery to anyone and i don't want to influence young girls especially to get surgery but i also feel like breast reduction is very like health it benefits your health because lots of girls when they have bigger boobs it's painful like it's actually painful like my neck and back went through so much trauma over the last few years and i'm so excited to just like be able to stand tall I don't have to worry about my boobies. Well, I'm gonna do like a more in-depth video about the breast reduction. Like I might do that next. And I'll do like a Q and A, like a full in-depth recovery. I just went to the bathroom and my mom was like, whoa, your makeup looks amazing. And if you know my mom, that's a big comment. I swear, I think it's just Irish moms would be like, they just be like, pick out something that they're just like, mm, don't know about that. But I'm gonna go in with blush now. So I obviously have the Glowgasm by Shanna Tilbury and I think they're coming out with a matte one. I'm so excited. I don't know, I'm just really excited for it. Okay, so I also have the Cloud Paint by Glossier and I have this in Beam. I think I might mix them again and see how it goes. I'm gonna do this one first. This one's matte and the other one is shimmery. So I wanna do beam first and then go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. What I usually sometimes like doing is I'll put a little bit of this on the back of my hand to like warm it up and then take the product off that. And I'll just kind of like taking some of the product off before we go in with it because like you really don't need a lot. I know a lot of makeup artists would use that technique for wedding makeup as well. I feel like with blush as well, like everyone just goes straight on and then they're like, but like, what do you expect? You know, kind of way it's like, you're literally putting it straight onto your face. But I will say that I've done that many times also. One tip that I've learned from Emily Ratchkowski, if you have watched her Beauty Secrets video, you will know that she puts blush on her temples to give that like sun kiss, like just recently burnt, but it's healing, healthy glow. And I've honestly been doing it since I was like 15 and I'm obsessed with it. Like I absolutely love doing that. Okay, and then this, I just go straight onto my face because I don't want to use it. I don't want to waste any products, so. I already know how much I want to use with this. I'm actually not, do you know what? I used to hate blush. I went through a phase when I was a bit younger that I was like, okay, yeah, I love a bit of blush. And then I was kind of like, I thought it was like sexier to not have blush on. But that was like when I was like 
17 and really trying too hard. And now I'm like, how did I go without blush? Like it fully just makes you, your whole makeup come together. It makes you look like healthy. I feel like it brings like life back into your face after doing a full face makeup. I've just had to stop this video twice because the camera's battery is not for the week. I'm under a bit of time pressure now, so we gotta get this done. Okay, so Laura Mercier powder, translucent powder, iconic. Also, I have been using the RCMA powder for years and I just feel like lots of people hate on me for saying it, but the RCMA powder is a great dupe. Yes, it is a little bit more drying for some people, but it hasn't been drying for me. And if you need a good dupe, the RCMA no color translucent powder, really good. This is how I like contour my nose. I like go down and swoop it out. Best powder for setting your face. Like it literally blurs everything. But I also feel like, unpopular opinion, but doesn't every powder do that? Like some powders are obviously way better than others and it's the lasting power for powders, I feel. I also feel that like, if you're on a budget, you can find really good powders that like do the same, but it's the lasting powder. And it's also how finely milled powders are. I just kind of carve out my cheekbones with the powder and I usually actually kind of go like that to give that Bella Hadid runway look. Not gonna happen but you leave it to bake a little bit in the in these two areas because that's where I'm most oily. I don't have an eyelash curler I don't have a working eyelash curler. It touches and if you know you know. But I do have this one okay it's a heated eyelash curler from Lash Star. Um, we're just gonna give it a little go. Now you're actually meant to do this when, you're when you have your mascara on. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so you basically are just meant to hold it on your lashes at the base for like 10 seconds and swoop it up. I don't know if this is doing anything. Okay, that's definitely doing something. And I feel like you'd have to have a lot more time on your hands to like use this properly. We are meant to do it with mascara on. So what I'm using is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I also have the Rimmel Trendsetter. I've used this one before. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try the Trendsetter because it's new and I just love a fresh mascara. Okay. Oh wait. Trail Seeker, not Trendsetter. I also like the fact that this one is in the shade Black Brown. So it's not too intense, which is perfect for today. Okay, so I've ended up doing my mascara off camera. I actually think I lost my other Trail Seeker, but like, whoa, that's insane. Could be the eye glow. So lastly is lips and I currently can't find my MAC strip down. I love MAC strip down. I just feel like for every day you can build it up for nighttime. You can use it every day. I'm a brown lip girly because it makes your teeth look a lot wider. But for right now, I'm going to go in with this Toffee from Primark Beauty. And I'm literally just going to outline my lips. Can you hear my dad talking? Why is it a thing that like all dads don't even talk on the phone, they shout. Also, I have a double lip line and a tip for a double lip line is literally just line the double lip line. Like, so there is my double lip line. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Gone. And then blend it out ever so slightly. And then all I do is just the edges. Cute. Then the two options for lip gloss we have today is the Dior Lip Maximizer, which I love. And then we also have a new Fenty, the new, a new Fenty glass bomb. So this is in the shade Lemon Lava. It looks like this, but it doesn't come out like this on the lips. Um, this one has a more intense, like tingle to the lips. So if you're not, if you don't really like a ma like a intense tingle, I'd go for the lip maximizer. This is in shade 001. Um, I think it's just like their prettiest shade. Yeah. Gonna go in with this one because we want a nice maximizing effect today. And 
it kind of has like the tiniest like champagne gold fleck to it which i love i also think it makes your teeth really white oh yes the charlotte tilbury setting spray of course it's like the it's the, genuinely the only one that works so love her okay i think that's me done am i up to zoom how do we zoom okay okay she's a slow zoom what do you all think of this makeup look and my first youtube video back i had so much fun making that i just feel like youtube you can proper chat about things whereas like tiktok you're like really love the face and body dior foundation i actually think it looks stunning i love how seamless it looks it looks like my skin if you use any of the products let me know how you get on and i will do a updated version of this video probably next month because there's new products coming every single month at this rate